So by definition, nutrition is the science of nourishment. So that breaks down to be the chemistry of the foods that we eat and then also the biochemistry of what happens when we take those nutrients in and our body begins to digest, metabolize, and absorb those nutrients. Also though, I think nutrition reaches farther than that into, you know, nutrition is really about the choices that we make throughout a day. We have, I think the statistic is 200 choices a day that we make on food. So nutrition ultimately is a way for us to be in control a little bit of our health by the choices that we make um, and our happiness as well. So whether it be that we're you know, making a choice based on um, preventing or treating a disease that we have you know, based on the food that we're eating and, and what we're choosing there, um, or if we're choosing a food because it's tasty or because it's you know, nostalgic or because it reminds us of something great, uh, I think that's when it plays into the happiness and you know, who are we sharing our food with um, when are we eating the food? Um, can that food make us faster or stronger if we're an athlete? Um, it plays into different things for different people. And I think also once we are able to strip, you know, the, the connection between food and emotion, that's when we're most happiest, we're happiest with what we're choosing um, for the foods that we eat. And so I think that nutrition can be defined that way as well. Okay, so I happen to be both a certified nutritionist and a dietitian, so I can give you the, the difference. Um, I started out, you know, knowing that I wanted to do a little bit more with food in terms of, um, as you know, using nutrition to help people as a career. Uh, the difference, though, is, you know, when I first started out, I thought I just want to, you know, kind of hone my expertise on nutrition so that I can be able to tell people, you know, this is a healthier option than this, or, you know, this food has these properties that will help you with this or benefit your health this way, that sort of thing. Um, once I had kind of delved into the nutrition certification, I realized I was much more interested in the biochemical aspect of nutrition and really treating and preventing disease. And so for that reason, I looked into becoming a dietitian because I know that dietitians uh, you have to be a dietitian in order to work in a hospital. So the difference between a nutritionist and a dietitian is the course in which they become credentialed. So for a nutritionist, uh, depending on the state, uh, in California, you actually don't even need a certification. So really, anybody could become a nutritionist by just deeming themselves so. Um, I want to be clear to say that the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, which is kind of our, our board, um, they're switching the acronym. So instead of just being RD for registered dietitian, it's now going to be RDN for registered dietitian nutritionist. And it's important to look for this, the RD still in that acronym uh, to delineate the dietitian from a nutritionist. So a dietitian is, is uh, someone who's still an expert in nutrition but can be hired in a hospital because the clinical background is there. So a dietitian is required to have a degree in nutrition uh, be it a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, which I think is going to increase to having to be a master's at minimum. Um, those classes that are required within that degree are very uh, scientifically based. So it's a lot of biochemistry that's nutrition related and things of that sort. And then a dietitian is required to do um, an internship, a clinical internship, which is similar to a residency that a doctor would go through. It's just shortened to um, anywhere between six months to a year, depending on how long it takes to get those hours in. And then also uh, it's you know, obviously focused to nutrition. So a dietitian is able to give tube feedings, um, recommendations, you know, based on preventing and treating disease more so than a nutritionist. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.